People did get worried for us, though. You know, our parents especially. They got concerned for us. They got worried about us. You know, they kept saying, "Go to the tourist spots. That's what you need to do. That's how you're going to learn about the country. If you go to the tourist spots, that's how you're going to see India. Go see all the tourist spots." And my wife and I are not tourist people. You know, I just don't think tourist spots represent the place that you're in. You know, it just doesn't do that for me. Like when people come to the states, they always ask me like where to go, and they ask me if like what about the Statue of Liberty. And I never tell people to go to the Statue of Liberty. I don't think the Statue of Liberty represents America because she's a woman. So. <laughs> <laughs> and she's French. Holy fuck! <laughs> I am astounded we haven't mounted her down and turned her into a gun. <laughs> <You know? laughs> Just aggressively pointing at the Atlantic. <laughs> big neon sign that says, TRY IT, MOTHERFUCKER! <laughs> <laughs> Do you really want the, stat uh, the Grand Canyon to be the representation of America? A big fucking hole? <laughs> I mean, it's accurate, but do you really want it to? You know? <laughs> so, I've always found that people represent a place to me, you know? This is how I always learn about where I'm at. Right? I've always talked to people and learned the coolest shit about the place that I'm in. You know, people, like, there are some places that I go, you know, if, I'm, if I got a little extra time or something, like, I'll, I'll hang out with people and they always want me to take you around the city and stuff and show me, like, the cool touristy stuff. And it's always, like, we'll always wind up going to, like, a statue of, like, a man on a horse, you know? And they're like, this guy had some slaves <laughs> and some horses and the horses were treated better, right? Like, it's just like, I don't give a shit about this person, you know? And then they always, they always like throw this nugget of like the coolest shit I've ever heard in my entire life. You know, they're like, yeah, so this guy's on a horse. Uh, over here is where those fake Satanists were murdered by that coven of witches. <laughs> <laughs> Why would we be talking about this the whole time? <laughs> Just gonna throw it out there like it's nothing? Oh my god! Let's go talk about this. Uh, you, uh, is the Covenant of Witches still here? Are they still here? <laughs> Can you join? How do you join? Do they have a membership program? Or what's going on? <laughs> we didn't go to some tourist spots though in India. We went to see the Gateway of India. Has anybody heard about the Gateway of India? Anyway, yeah, one part, yeah, you've heard about it, yeah. The Gateway of India is in the coast of India. It's in the coast of Bombay, right? And architecturally speaking, it's quite beautiful. It's a quite beautiful piece of architecture, right? Uh, and the reason why it was built was it was built back in 1914 to commemorate the landing mm -hmm. of King George and Queen Empress Elizabeth, this greedy bitch. <laughs> Two imperial titles, really? Like one wasn't fucking enough? You, know, you ship us with the queen and you twist the knife with the empress. Right? <laughs> I always find that funny that these like very boastful, powerful, machoistic leaders always have the most flamboyant displays of power, don't they? You know, I can't walk into a country unless there's a big gate for me to walk through! <laughs> Don't you just hear that with like a puff of glitter coming out from the... <laughs> what does every fucking dictator want every single week? I want to make parade in my honor. Bring me the streamers. <laughs> it's like, come on, bro. You got ballerinas on your tank. You can come out. No worries. Nobody gives a shit. We'll support your ass. <laughs> That's what they did. They built it. Uh, in 1914. The reason why the English royalty wanted it built on the coast of India is because they wanted people to see something beautiful on the coast of a country that doesn't belong to them. So it's very important to them <laughs> to do that. Yeah. Displace a lot of the fishermen that lived there and worked there, the true people that represent that land, right? Here's the cool part about that history though. This is the cool part about that history, right? When India kicked the British out, the last battalion of the British infantry was sent through the gates <laughs> back onto the boats to leave the country. Yeah, that's fucking cool, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, history's kind of cool like that, right? And the rest of the Indian people that were left on the coast were like, Hey! You forgot your big damn gate! <laughs> What the fuck are we supposed to do? 
<laughs> this is so big and stupid. <laughs> Gaudy. Fuck it, I guess we'll put it on some t-shirts and sell it to the Europeans. <laughs> like tourist spots, right? It's not about the history, it's not about the culture, it's not about the people, it's about merchandising, right? It's about selling you some shit, and they will sell it to you at any cost, including the truth. They are willing to lie to you to make sure that they can turn a buck from you, right? That's why I don't like these tourist spots.